I will start in one second. Yeah, it's already started, so you can start your presentation. I just turn on microphone. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the introduction. Uh, good morning and good evening to all of the participants today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and also to international students. Uh, greetings from Indonesia. My name is Nanda Saraswati from the International Office of Universitas Brawijaya. First of all, I would like to say and hope that everyone here participating is safe and I wish everyone is in good health. Uh, second, I would like to express uh, our gratitude to the Ukrainian Education Fair 2020-22 for holding this event and also giving a platform for Universitas Prawijaya and of course to all the participants who are now joining the promotion of Universitas Prawijaya or UB. And although that this event is conducted online, uh, we do hope that potential international students uh, still have high hopes and willingness to learn and also to seek information uh, to study abroad, uh, specifically in Indonesia and in this case, Malang. So today, I would like to share with all of you uh, of insights and also information about our university, uh, Universitas Brawijaya, uh, for your information that uh, we will be promoting our university for the next hour, so please um, inform this to your friends and also your families, your colleagues, or anyone who might be interested to study with us today. So a brief explanation is that UB uh, was established in 1963. Uh, Universitas Brawijaya is a state university uh, located in the city of Malang, East Java. So Malang is very famous, known for the city of education because of the number of universities and campus and also uh, schools uh, in the city. Plus the fact that Malang is located in a plateau uh, with a mild climate. We have beautiful sceneries, uh, many attractive tourism objects and also traditional dances. Uh, we have friendly locals and therefore this city becomes a very favorite destination for not only vacation and traveling but also only for sightseeing and even staying. So there are a number of students uh, who come from various regions in Indonesia and also even from abroad. They chose Malang as a nice place for their studies and um, our vision here is to become an outstanding world-class university and to be able to take part in the national development uh, through education, through research, and also community service. And our mission is to implement the process of learning and so that learners can become people with uh, academics and or professional skills we have good personalities and also possess entrepreneur characteristics and other than that we develop uh, science and technology and art and also humanity uh, to intend to improve uh, people's standard of living and to enrich our national culture so before i uh, continue with the presentation i will give you or show you uh, a video of our university, uh, University of Brawijaya. So please enjoy the video and we will continue afterwards. Universitas Brawijaya was established by the President of the Republic of Indonesia on July 11, 1961. This name is derived from the title of King of Majapahit, a great kingdom in Indonesia from 12th to 15th centuries.
Universitas Brawijaya transformed into a state university on January 5, 1963, following a presidential decree issued earlier in the same year. Ube is one of the leading universities in Indonesia with more than 60,000 students in various degrees ranging from six program for three years diploma program and two program for three years diploma program 15 bachelor's degree program with 76 study program 42 study program for master degree 23 study program for doctoral degree. Universitas Brawijaya also has 9 professional program and 18 medical specialist program. Ujas Brawijaya vision is to become a superior university with international standard and able to actively participate in national development through education, research, community service. We have two missions to improve the quality of Universitas Brawijaya, they are first, to conduct international standard education to mold the students to be academically capable human beings and qualified professionals and also to own entrepreneurial personality, passion and capability. Second, to develop and propagate science, technology, arts and humanity and attempt to improve people's standard of living and enrich the national culture. Getting involved in social life on campus will lead to well-rounded university experience. Social involvement will also help to enhance existing skills while also developing some hidden ones such as leadership, interpersonal relations, communications, public speaking, and time management. Universitas Brawijaya provides the facilities to improve the quality of Civitas Academica. They are Academic facilities The library Laboratory for Biological Sciences and Food Sciences, LSIH Central Laboratory of Science and Engineering, LSSR Institute of Research and Community Services, Brawijaya University, LPPM. Institute for Educational Development and Quality Assurance, LPPM. PJM. International Office. Biosense Institute. UB Media and Communication Group. UB Press. Integrated Laboratory UB Forest Agrotechno Park Center for Disability Studies and Services Interest and Talent Facilities Student Activity Units Pertamina Sport Arena Sport Clubhouse Pertamina UB Samantha Krida Hall Widya Loka Hall Football Field and other sport facilities at Dieng Campus Supporting Facilities UB Bus Fleet Student Dormitory Employee Cooperative KPRI International Students Dormitory Bank and ATM Center Post Office Masjid Raden Patah Compost Processing Facilities Halal Canteen Alumni Facilities They are Alumni Association System 
Career Entrepreneurship Development Unit of Universitas Brawijaya. Business Incubator Information Technology and Computers Facilities They are Academic Information System Registration and Selection for Students Information System New Student Admissions Information System Online An Integrated Service Information System Portal Student Academic Information System Decision Support System Research and Community Service Information System Bandwidth Internet Capacity Safety and Health Facilities They are Firefighting and Rescue Ambulance Health Clinic UB Hospital E-Counseling UB or counseling.ub.ac.id In order to guarantee the quality of all units in Universitas Brawijaya has reached some accreditations such as National Accreditation Grade A Accreditation from National Accreditation Body for Universities Universitas Brawijaya also have as an external quality assurance institution for higher education in whole study programs LAM PTKS International Accreditation Appreciations is given to UB Library which has been accredited by National Library with rank A in 2016 and accreditations by associations of Charter Certified Accountants, ACCA, for Accounting Study Program, Faculty of Economy and Business. And accreditations by the Institute of Food Technologies for Agriculture Product Technology Study Program, Faculty of Agriculture Technology. UBE also granted an accreditation of Indonesian's Accreditation Board for Engineering Education. IABEE. The Alliance on Business Education and Scholarship for Tomorrow, a 21 century organization. Universitas Brawijaya is an associate member of AUNQA Network under ASEAN University Network since 2014 as a form of international acknowledgement. The following study programs are AUNQA accredited. Universitas Brawijaya as an inclusive excellence campus based on international education continues to improve the quality of services. Universitas Brawijaya as a leading university with our international standards through the process of education, research, and service to the community are going to increase the achievements and to improve the innovations. With pride and confidence, Universitas Brawijaya will continue to improve its quality both at the national and international levels, building up the noble future. Yes, thank you all uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And before we go to the Q&A session, I would just like to give you an insight um, about the flyer or the brochure that we have at our university. Um, here you can see uh, about the programs and the facilities uh, that was on the video. We have a number of uh, campus facilities starting from uh, public facilitations and also student facilities. Uh, research centers. We also have um, sports facilities and also training centers for all of you. And for international students, do not worry, we have a number of programs to welcome you today. Uh, 
etc. It's uh, for example is for the cultural of Indonesia understanding for students of UB. So that's um, one of the basic programs for all international students who come and study at the university. We also do have um, several summer camps that we collaborate with a number of universities in East Java. And also we have um, the International Students uh, Service Evaluation, which is conducted each and every year. Um, for the international classes, you can see uh, that we have a range from bachelor's degree uh, to master's degree and also a doctorate's degree. Uh, for example, for the bachelor's degree, if you all would like to study in the uh, university, you can choose a number of uh, faculties, such as the Faculty of Economics and Business, uh, Faculty of Administration Science, and etc. For master's degree, you also have international programs at the Faculty of Economic and Business, uh, the Faculty of Agriculture, and et cetera. And for those of you who are past graduates, you can continue and study at universities uh, for the doctor's degree. So um, here are the list of the faculties which have a doctor's degree. And of course, you can go to our website at ub.ac.id, or for further information, you can contact us at the international office of Universitas Brawijaya at io.ub.ac.id. We will be uh, kindly helping you all for any information that you might need uh, for your studies abroad. So I think this is um, the presentation that uh, we can give to you. Uh, later on, you can come back to our website, but for now, maybe we can have some question and answer sessions. Thank you. Okay, um, this is a question from the attendants today. So when did the university start developing internalization? So uh, basically that the government of Indonesia um, started to uh, try to make a world-class university uh, to all of the universities of Indonesia uh, around 2007. And therefore, based on the minister's degree of higher education and also a number of uh, government, uh, re government regulation in 2010, uh, then they encouraged uh, the establishment of the so-called now the international office of all universities. And therefore, related to this, uh, the Ministry of Education um, invited all universities in Indonesia uh, in 2010, including universities to establish an international office uh, and therefore it was that started the point of the internalization yeah Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, there's some connection problem but I will uh, try to continue. So um, in two, around 2010, um, the Ministry of Education invited all universities to develop um, an international office, which we did, yeah, the Universitas of Brawijaya, and that was the leading point um, for our university to internalization in terms of seminar, in terms of workshops, in terms of collaboration. Therefore, that is the starting point of what we are now here is known as the international office of UB, so around 2007, thank you. And then next, 
Okay, next is how many European students study at the university? Is it easy for Europeans to adapt in the country? This is a very good question. And um, at the moment, we have uh, over 100 uh, foreign or international students uh, at the university from various degrees. And uh, for European students, they, we have um, students coming from Russia, we have students coming from Germany, uh, Netherlands, and Poland. However, there are not many, but we do have students coming from European countries. And so if it's easy or not for them to adapt, that's um, some adjustments that, of course, every international student uh, might need to do. But in terms of sh uh, cultural shock, we have um, many programs for the international students provided not only at the faculty level, but also at the international office has provided a cultural education. And later on, if you contact about the Indonesian language, you will also be aware of the uh, cultural understanding. And so far that we have some programs for you to adjust and adapt um, students coming from abroad, um, uh, in this case for European countries also. And then the next question is, why did you choose this university? And from what options in Malaysia choose? Still, it's an exotic region for many for life and education for Europeans. Yes, of course. Um, well, in compared to other universities um, in Indonesia, we do have lots of um, uh, great qualities. We have the most um, students, national students or domestic students from uh, compared to other universities in the countries. We also have uh, 15 uh, faculties and also vocationals. And we have four um, campuses at UB. So two of them are located in Malang City, uh, in Fatran and also at Dieng. While we do have uh, the rest is in located in Kadiri City and also uh, in Jakarta. So, so this has made us one of the leading universities. And actually, compared to some statistics, we are one of uh, out of two and some out of three um, considered as the most biggest and wealthiest universities in the countries. Therefore, uh, many students come to Malang because we are an educational city uh, and therefore uh, many students um, coming from domestic countries and also dom uh, international countries also choose us because there's many, many other students coming from different backgrounds and different parts of the world, making it more unique, uh, I would say, other than other universities. Thank you. Okay, and then... Um, How far apart are campus buildings? Uh, this is a very good question also. So we are like located around uh, 56 hectares and uh, between uh, faculties, it's very nearby, it's very close. Uh, therefore, for example, for the main building of the university, it is very near uh, the faculty of law, the faculty of economics. And you see the video or you might see the video later in our websites that it is a walking distance between um, faculties. So they're very close by and um, especially for Europeans who are used to um, walking distances like that. This is um, a very, very small location and it's very uh, nearby for each and every faculty and also building. So that might not be a problem for students. Thank you. Okay, next is about the dormitory. 
So it is interesting to hear what it is like for students to live in such a place. Um, actually, we do have uh, a dormitory uh, for international students and, in, and international students only. Uh, those of you who later on, either you have you conducted a study from scholarship or not, you can be um, stated in the dormitory. And of course, um, many students uh, enjoy living at the dormitory because of the interaction and the social uh, that they get um, between the, uh, the students. And therefore, we also have a management that is uh, managed, the dormitory is also managed by UB. So any uh, problems or any concerns, you can also um, tell the international office and we would like kindly to uh, help you out. But yes, um, when you go to our website later on, uh, we will give you, or later on in the chat box, I will give you um, uh, the testimonies of students, uh, particularly international students who uh, studied in UB. Thank you. Okay, and next is deadlines for submissions of documents. Is there an online system? Yes, there is an online system. So um, if you go to our website at IO, I will show in the chat box at ub.ic.id, um, the staffs will help you out later, but um, most of the time that the a semester uh, will start around July and August, um, every year. And so uh, there is an online system for international students who would like to participate, uh, either scholarship or through your own. So the deadlines for submission would be around some um, somewhere around the April of May and May. But yes, we will help you out. It depends on the faculty and also the level of higher education, whether it's uh, uh, whether it's bachelor's degree or master's degree or doctorate degree. And for some faculties, um, sometimes they open to us a year. So later on, we will facilitate you about um, the system that you can come uh, to apply for the Indonesian uh, faculties in of Universitas Prawijaya. Thank you. Yes, um, at the moment, yeah, at the moment, because of the level of COVID-19 um, in the country is that just um, uh, two weeks ago that the government did apply uh, restricted regulations that all schools and all uh, university students um, to be held um, online. We did try to prepare uh, the hybrid um, classes where some of the students would be in class and others would be joining from um, Zoom meeting, the media that usually we're using at the moment, um, Zoom. However, just as I said earlier, just this one or two weeks ago, the um, COVID-19 has um, stretched a very high um, a concern. Uh, and also in, in Brawi Jaya, therefore, at the moment, all classes, or at, I can say most of the classes are currently um, joined online. And if, if it is not conducted online um, later on when, or before the COVID-19 hit um, um, everybody, uh, most of the time it's conducted classes, but however, we do have a number of internships and also outline classes depending on the um, course or depending on the subjects that each and every students are having. And apart from the online trainings, um, yes, that, as I said earlier, that right now we are conducted, um, most of them are online and um, including seminars, including um, courses, including trainings. Uh, we also have internships um, of students doing internships. Those are also conducted online at the moment. However, later, uh, when we pray that um, after COVID is not here again, then uh, most, uh, some of the classes were conducted outside of the classroom. So it really depends on the um, study program and the faculty. Thank you.
Yes, the deadlines of submission I've already stated earlier. And then um, I have a BA in English um, psychology. Uh, what can you offer me for a master's degree? Yes, um, you can check on our website. Um, and as I stated here, that in the presentation, uh, I will just open it again. Mm -hmm. that we have these international classes. And of course, um, each and every level of study and also faculty has its own um, requirements for students. So let's say you have a BA, uh, you can um, actually go to a number of um, master's degree. And because for international students um, who are joined the, in the international program, I think um, the uh, TOEFL certificates and also the English requirements is also um, a prerequisite to enter. Therefore, for that, there might be some uh, a number of international uh, faculties that you can um, join. If so, if you need any uh, contacts, then you can just um, email. Uh, or give us a chat from the international office. Okay, I will continue. If I apply to several universities, is the registration fee paid for each one? Mm, I'm not sure about this one. I definitely have to access for uh, with our team. However, um, it depends on the um, way that you apply. Uh, are you pay, uh, are you applying as an individual for yourself or um, and attending a scholarship? So we do have a number of scheme for scholarship, whether it's conducted. Um, from the Ministry of Higher Education or it's conducted um, ourselves at the level of the universities. And so you can automatically apply um, or send an email uh, to our university and see uh, if that a scholarship, including registration fee, could be conducted for yourselves. Okay, and uh, next is in which countries is an Indonesian diploma recognized? I'm sure this is related to the um, conversion of each and every course. We are recognized um, by a number of international accreditations uh, in, the, in the video and also in the flyer. You can see uh, later on, we can show you again that we have a apart from a national accreditation for uh, from our national accreditation board body we are also um, accredited by uh, let's say the alliance on business education and, and, and scholarship we also have an accreditation by asean association of schools and business international uh, there are also accreditation by the um, institute for food technologies for agricultural products and the AUNKA, the Association um, for ASEAN University Network, we uh, a number of program studies have been um, applied there since 2014. And so, for instance, about the Faculty of Law, the Faculty of Administration Science, um, the Faculty of Economic and Business, uh, the Faculty of Agriculture, and so on. And we also have the um, accreditation from the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. And uh, from 2011 um, onwards, uh, our university received an international management of ISO 9001 a certificate. So um, for the QS World Rankings at the moment, um, in 2017, we're ranked um, 290 in Asia and also 800 plus in the world ranking. So uh, those indicators, apart from the United Nations indicators for sustainable development goals, then I think the diploma recognitions will be um, accredited and recognized. Thank you. The dormitory I've already 
conducted. Next, if the training is online, can I stay in Russia? Yes, so for, it depends on the um, degree that you follow for international students. So mm -hmm. let's say if you are here conducted for a degree or non-degree students. So for um, courses that are non-degree, for example, summer courses and so on, I believe at this moment and at this year, there will also be training on all of it online. And for international students, um, it depends on the year of academic year you apply and you will be received um, by our universities. But yes, if you are training online at the moment, I believe so that um, all of our international students are conducted courses online until the pandemic is reasonably um, decreasing and over. Okay, uh, do you have entrance exam or I need to write a motivation letter? So we each and every faculty has a requirements, prerequisites for students to apply. Uh, normally, you would need a copy of your passports. Your, if you are applying for a master's degree, then we would need um, the transcript um, or the uh, yeah, the transcript and certification of your bachelor's degree. Uh, they were, might need a certain um, a course in level of your score uh, of your undergraduate program, for instance. And there will be other prerequisites um, for the motivation letter. Usually we would, we would need that, especially if you would have or applied for a scholarship. So um, the details we can give you, um, therefore you can contact us at the international office. We would give you um, a certain requirements depending on the uh, study program that you would like to apply. Yes, and then uh, next is about the registration fee. Yes, so, um, and when is it due? Uh, I stated earlier that usually we would like to open the academic year around June and July. And so we would, uh, it would be kindly helpful for you to try to apply at the university sometime early in the year or maximum for um, April and March. And therefore, um, we would give you any other contacts about uh, the details on this. Some, some study programs will open twice a year, but uh, others might uh, open uh, once a year, depending on the um, faculty. And it's usually starting around um, July and August for the academic years. And for the tuition fees, it depends also on the faculty, but it starts around uh, 1500 US dollars. We, once again, we do have um, scholarship programs either full or partial scholarship programs um, at the universities. And then, um, are there any other more questions? Yes, so I'm sorry if there is um, a noise from the mosque here because it's um, praying time, but I will continue. Um, so there is a uh, directorate of innovation also in Kupiters um, of business in Universitas Prawijaya. Um, you can check also that um, at our website um, located there um, at the University of Brawijaya. So we do have a unit of innovation and incubator for a uh, business and also entrepreneurship of um, Universitas Brawijaya. Next, um, the duration of the study uh, depends on the level that you're applying, but for a bachelor's degree, usually it is four years um, for all students. And also for the master's degree, it is two years. 
And for the doctor's degree, it depends. Uh, usually it's from three to five years. And the cost for the bachelor's degree, it clearly depends on the program student and faculty. But as I said it earlier, that the tuition fees here are normally starts around 1500 US dollars. Uh, but we will help you out for depending on the batch, uh, the bachelor's degree or the faculty that you would like to join. Thank you. Are there any more questions? And this is another question that I think I forgot to um, answer is that where do graduate students work? Returning home or to Indonesia? Of course, if international students here um, uh, apply for a student's uh, visa, then you would not have uh, a capability to work at in the Indonesia. If you would like to work, you would have to return to your country and apply for a working visa. So for graduate students, um, for international graduate students, you would have to apply for a working visa uh, to able to be working. Uh, for the ratio of lectures, this is something that it very depends on the faculty because we have um, a lot of uh, students. Um, for example, at the Faculty of Law, uh, the ratio of lectures and also practical lessons is around uh, one lecture has around three to four uh, lessons and it's very common for each courses or practical lessons to be taught by um, more than one lectures because we have this program called the three in one program where a number of courses are taught by three different um, people which are the lecturers from the University of Brawijaya. The second is um, from a lecturers abroad or a visiting professor and the third one is from a practitioner. So this is to give um, students a more comprehensive understanding about the course. And each year that um, many courses are conducted with this three-in-one program. So once again, it's taught by three different um, teachers. One, a lecturer from the university. Second is a visiting lecturer or a, a professor from a bar. And the other one is a, a practitioner, depending on the faculty um, that you're in. What happens if there are delays in payments? Um, this is um, something that we can talk about with the finance um, division. Um, there are um, rules and regulations that are have to be implemented for the international students. Um, however, um, a year gap, de it depends on the um, application, whether you are paying individually or you are entering into a scholarship. Usually if the scholarship, there are a certain rules and regulations that must be um, adopted by all of the students. Okay, at the Faculty of Engineering, how many students are in a group, uh, bachelors? What proportion um, of foreign students where do students practice? Um, I will have to check the data of each and every faculty. However, at the moment, we have around uh, one, 130 foreign students uh, comprising at all of the program students in the in the faculty in the Brawija universities, and um, uh, that includes only of the degree students. However, we have over 600 non-degree um, students who come to our universities. Um, and so it depends on the students' practice um, of the faculty. Some have internships, uh, which have collaboration for the study programs. And so it really depends, um, such as um, the companies or the, for instance, the faculty of law. We have law firms and also companies uh, that is taking internship with the um, uh, students also.
Uh, the position of the university in Asia, as I said earlier, is around um, 200 until 300 at the Asian level, whereas at the international ranking, we are uh, around uh, the 800 at the international rankings. And for the teaching hours, um, normally um, the students would have taken the credits. Um, if the credits are conducted normal, then they will have uh, 24 credits for each semester. Um, that means that um, in that means if you take 24 credits in each of the semester, if we divide that into weeks, then probably you'll have around um, eight classes in a week, uh, and which each class is comprising around 100 um, minutes. So that's around one hour and 40 minutes of class, um, around eight um, to 10 uh, out, eight to till uh, eight until 10 uh, courses um, a week. Yes, 24 credits. Thank you. Thank you very much um, for all of the questions from the participants. Um, there are very good questions and um, we uh, kindly invite all of you come to come. Yes. What are the current temperatures in Indonesia? Actually, Malang is uh, located um, near a plateau. We have um, a very cool and nice um, temperature around um, I think uh, the coldest would, would be something around 15 to 16, while the highest might be around 30. Yeah. So compared to other cities in Indonesia, I think that Malang would be a great um, a location, especially for students coming from uh, Europe, um, where it's um, the condition is we're near a plateau, so it's it's kind of more cool than other um, countries in the city in the countries. Thank you so much for all of you. I hoped I've answered him. Are there any other questions? Thank you. So thank you for coming to the uh, Ukraine Education Fair. It was. Um, very lovely to um, be here again. Last year we have a fair also here and um, lots of new questions for us. And I think that's a good starting point for our universities. And I hope that um, we've answered your questions. If not, then once again, you can email us at io.ub.ac.id. We would kindly um, help you with any information or concern that you might need. So thank you again for everyone. Thank you. Have a nice um, evening. Uh, yes, thanks to you for this presentation. Um, very lots of new information for us too. Uh, so if if, uh, if nobody have uh, other questions, uh, I think we can end this. And uh, once again, thanks to you. Uh, good luck to you. Have a strong health and plenty of other good stuff. <laughs>